Diane Murray at Southern Art Gallery. And today I am showing you how to make a simple uh, color chart. This is an exercise that um, we did yesterday in the class I'm teaching. So this is primarily for reference so that um, if you have any questions about how to make a color chart, you can uh, refer back to this. I'm cleaning my palette right here. This is a nine color um, palette that's made up of split primaries and several other um, what I call modifying colors that I think are important to have on your palette. And I'm not going to go through all this uh, except to name the colors and I'm not going to do the entire chart. I'm just going to show you how you set it up and the process that, um, that I use to make one of these. The colors are Lemon Yellow, Nickel Azo, Chinese Orange, Burnt Sienna, Bright Red by Sennelier, or you can use Pyrrol Red, Quinacridone Magenta, Payne's Gray, Ultramarine Blue, and Thallo Blue. And then the, I've put the, I, I have 10 boxes. The first box is empty. The second box has the Lemon Yellow, and it, we go across in that order. Then we take the same colors and go down. So what we have is we have lemon yellow, lemon yellow, and then when you mix those two together, you get lemon yellow. Then we go across lemon yellow. So we have lemon yellow, we mix with nickel azo. Primarily using more lemon yellow than nickel azo, we get this. Then we mix lemon yellow with Chinese orange, mostly with lemon yellow, and we get this burnt sienna and lemon yellow, we get this, bright red and lemon yellow, we get this, quinacridone magenta and lemon yellow, we get this color, Payne's gray and lemon yellow, we get a green, ultramarine and lemon yellow, we get this really soft pretty green, phthalo blue and lemon yellow, and we get a bright green. Then we move down to nickel azo, so we'll start here. And the uh, uh, best way to do it is to make some puddles of your nickel azo. So let me do that real quickly. And I'll just do it on here so you can kind of see. I just make little puddles. Put some nickel azo out. Clean your brush. And the first color we're gonna mix with is lemon yellow. Primarily nickel azo with a little lemon yellow. So we will take just the tiniest bit of lemon yellow and mix it into the nickel azo. And you're not going to see a dramatic shift here in these colors. And that goes here. Okay, we've already done nickel azo with nickel azo. That's what you have here. So you're going to see the colors across here down here and across in the diagonal. And that's just how this chart works. But trust me, it's the best way to do it. So the next color we're mixing is nickel azo, mostly nickel azo with a little Chinese orange. So we take the Chinese orange, we mix it in with the nickel azo. We come down here where they meet and that's where your Chinese orange mixture goes. Okay, the next one is Nickel Azo and Burnt Sienna, which goes right here. And I have these colors in a different palette that's off camera, which is why you're not able to see. Now, if I got too much of the Nickel Azo, I can always go over to another little group here, a puddle of uh, Nickel Azo. And because I want this to be mostly Nickel Azo, I'm airing on the side of light, the lighter nickel azo. Okay, the next one we're going to do is nickel azo and bright red. And bright red is such an incredibly strong color. We're just going to use a very little bit of it. And we're going to put that right here. And you will, truth, you will truly be amazed at the number of color combinations that you can get just from doing this. Now we take Nicolazzo with Quinacridone Magenta. 
which is also a very strong color. And I think we have too much there, so I'm gonna move that over here. And some of these, uh, you're not gonna see a lot of variation in some of the colors, like the yellows, but you will when you start mixing colors that are further apart on the color wheel. Nicolazzo and Payne's Gray. <clears throat> Now, Payne's Gray has a blue uh, undertone to it, and that's why you get the gray. I mean the green, excuse me. It's a beautiful green also. This is one of my favorite uh, mixtures for greens right there. Okay, I'm gonna clean this palette real quickly. And we'll move on to the Ultramarine and the Nickel Azo. And as we know, Ultramarine is a blue, Nickel Azo is a yellow, so we know that we're gonna get green. And I'm gonna mix up a few more puddles of Nickel, well, two more puddles of Nickel Azo. We're gonna take the Ultramarine and the Nickel Azo and We're gonna get a beautiful green, very earthy, beautiful green. And the reason you're getting an earthy green is because these are both warm colors. So we're getting more of an earthy tone. The next one will be um, Fallow Blue. So you're gonna get a brighter, clearer green. Right there. And we did. Okay, let's do one more. I think I'll skip down here since I think you figured out how this, we basically do this. We're just mixing across. <clears throat> let's go down and do, do one we haven't done. Let's try Quinacridone Magenta since that's such an interesting mixing color. And we'll put out some little puddles of Quinacridone Magenta. Okay, so we start here and our primary color is quinacridone magenta. So we're gonna add a little bit of lemon yellow. Okay, and as you can see, it's such a strong color. So we start here. We get a really, almost like a quinacridone red is what that color looks like. Okay, the next one is nickel azo. So we'll mix that up here. And that is a gorgeous combination right there. Quinacridone magenta is one of my favorite mixing colors. Um, the reason I chose the colors on this palette was uh, mostly for their mixing abilities. And Chinese orange, which came in the Sennelier set that I bought for the class. <clears throat> So you get a nice vivid, because quinacridone magenta is so bright and so saturated, you get a very bright orange. Now we're gonna take quinacridone magenta and mix it with burnt sienna. So we'll mix that over here. And we get just a darker, beautiful orange, almost a burnt orange. Now we're going to take quinacridone magenta and bright red. And they're both really strong colors. So let's mix that a little more and get see if we can get... This makes an incredible color, this combination. Just beautiful color. Look how vivid that is. Okay, next one, quinacridone magenta and Payne's Gray, because we've already done quinacridone magenta and quinacridone magenta. So, Payne's Gray. Payne's Gray. And we get a lovely purple. Because remember, it's mostly quinacridone magenta with just a little bit of Payne's Gray. Gorgeous color. That's like a quinacridone violet. 
Now we are, we're at ultramarine. And ultramarine and quinacridone magenta make some of the most beautiful, beautiful, let's see if I can hope I'm on camera, purples you have ever seen. Or violets, if you'd rather call them violet. This is just the very best combination for purples and violets right here, I think. And the last one is Thalo Blue, which is over here. And when we mix that, we get a violet, but it's a moody, beautiful, muted violet, which is also really pretty. Okay, we need to be sure where we are. Okay, so we're here. It's all, it, that's quite blue, actually. So we probably could have added a little more magenta to that. And that changes that dramatically. So there you have it. And that's how we do a color chart. This is nine colors. If you have nine colors, you do 10 squares across and 10 squares down. And then of course, if you have 12 colors, you'll do 13 across and 13 down, the number of squares. But this is what gives you a beautiful uh, mixing chart. And hopefully you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and we will see you soon.